Hello my dear viewers, today Czech company Škoda has revealed the details of the new ENIAC IV VRS on its website, which has become the flagship model about the coupe variant that went on sale earlier this year. And now I will tell you more about this new fantastic vehicle. Let's start with the appearance. The SUV gains similar sporty exterior styling to the coupe, with gloss black front aprons, window frames, door mirrors and rear diffuser. Škoda's crystal face front grille, which features 131 LEDs, is included as standard now. Also, as we can see from the published photos, the car received the same 20-inch wheels as the coupe model, and almost the only thing in the design that distinguishes the SUV from the coupe model is a spoiler which continues the roofline. As for the side paw, here it is body color size skirts highlight the ENIAC slower slung stance, which is 15mm slower at the front and 10mm slower at the rear than the standard ENIAC. Škoda says this improves its drag coefficient by 0.265, with various bits of plastic trim around the car contributing to improved high dynamics, which in turn allows the SUV to conserve battery power. By the way, the second performance variant of the Czech firm's first bespoke electric car, the Niak IV VRS, is powered by the same 82 kW battery as its coupe sibling. It produces 295 horsepower and 460 Nm of torque to complete 060 sprint in 6.5 seconds and go on to a top speed of 111 mph. Range stands at 310 miles and the maximum charging rate at 135 kW, which will get the battery from 10% to 80% in around 36 minutes when you use a fast charger. Let's go inside, where we are greeted by a 5.3-inch digital cockpit, which displays driving data and set nav details. In addition, the car is decorated with carbon fiber effect trim on the instrument panel and doors, as well as artificial leather on the instrument panel. The infotainment system with a 13-inch touchscreen is the centerpiece of the cabin and is the largest among all Škoda models. Standard equipment on the ENIAC IV VRS includes three-zone climate control, wireless phone charging, LED ambient lightning, a power tailgate, and heated microfiber sports seats. Also cannot fail to note the more practical trunk with a volume of 585 liters, which is 15 liters more than in the coupe. Unfortunately, at the moment the automaker hasn't yet announced the price of the new product, but, according to some data, it will be a little more expensive than its coupe version, which cost $59,000. And maybe for someone it will be quite a high price, but for me the design, dynamics and comfort pay off every cent that will be paid. Well, friends, now let's move from the Czech Republic a little to the west to Germany, where the development of the new Mercedes CLE Coupe continues with yet another sporty version of the range. This time it was the new Mercedes AMG CLE 53 Coupe that first appeared in spy photos during tests near the Nürburgring. Fully camouflage the new AMG CLE 53 hide its distinctive grille, while at the same time you can see the bumper that will give this version of the CLE Coupe more sportiness. Seeing as this car bridges the gap between the C and E class, it also combines the styling of both, resulting in a dashing, styling coupe with a very rounded design. The headlights look like the new C class, while the taillights have a similar design to the CLA and CLS. The bulging wheel arches are another of its distinguishing features, as are the more prominent side skirts or the rear, where four round tail pubs grouped in two pairs are the most prominent detail. Also, several exhausts are housed in shiny black decorative inserts. On the edge of the trunk lid, you can also see a very thin spoiler, as well as a powerful braking system with perforated discs on both axles. The new Mercedes AMG CLE 53 will carry this sportiness into the interior, where the front seats will be more enveloping and will also feature special trim. With a more specific chassis tuning, the new model will have the same engine as the new AMG C43 Formatic. It will be a 2 liter 4 cylinder electric turbocharged unit thanks to 48 volt MHEV technology that eliminates kick, 
when delivering 408 horse powers. Mercedes hasn't announced when it will reveal the new CLE. I thought it could happen before the end of the year, but the clock is ticking. The regular CLE should debut ahead of the hotter MG variants, which could occur in 2023. That means the MG variants would likely arrive as 2024 models. Unfortunately, this is all the details I could find about new Mercedes. So, in order not to miss new videos about the outer world, subscribe to the channel and join my small automotive community. Have a good mood and thanks for your time and attention. Bye.